NASA just announced Voyager made contact with unknown object in space. Is it extraterrestrial life? The greatest mystery of our lives just deepens as NASA makes this shocking announcement. Recently, the Voyager made contact with something unknown that made it send strange data back to Earth that puzzled the engineers and the scientists. Why did the Voyager start sending data to a dead computer, and what does it exactly mean? Join us today as we explore the discoveries made by the Voyagers, a brief glimpse of their journey, and the interaction with an unknown object in space. Don't forget to stick till the end to find out what put the Voyager in safe mode and how contact with a foreign object opened a whole new world of possibilities. So, the journey of Voyagers started in the 70s when, for the first time in history, human-made objects were launched into interstellar space so that humans could know more about the uncharted territory of the universe and observe its different planets while understanding the very nature of energy and radiations. Voyager 1 was launched to fly by Saturn and Jupiter and carried a copy of the golden record that contained greetings in 55 different languages, images of people and locations on Earth, and music spanning from Beethoven to Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good. While, on the other hand, Voyager 2 was launched to get close-up shots of Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn. Voyager 1 was launched after its twin, but it left the asteroid belt before its sibling on December 15, 1977, thanks to a faster trajectory. In April of 1978, when the spacecraft was at a distance of roughly 165 million miles, it began its Jovian imaging mission. By taking a photo every 96 seconds for 100 hours, Voyager 1 was able to create a color time-lapse movie depicting 10 rotations of Jupiter, and then it discovered a thin ring circling Jupiter. Voyager 1 made several close encounters with the moons of Jupiter, like Amalthea, Europa, Enmid, and Castillo, and sent back some amazing pictures that opened up a whole new world for the scientists. It discovered two new moons, Thebe and Metis, and the fact that the planet was one of the most geologically active planetary bodies in the solar system. During its flyby of Saturn, Voyager 1 discovered five new moons of the planets and was able to reveal striking information no one knew about before. Its twin, though Voyager 2 was sent to observe the four planets of the universe, which it successfully did, and it became the only spacecraft to study Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune from a very close range. Some major discoveries of the Voyager 2 include discovering the 14th moon of Jupiter, 10 new moons and two new rings of Uranus, and five moons, four rings, and a great dark spot of Neptune. It was the first human-made spacecraft that made such close rounds of Neptune and Uranus. The spacecraft captured some breathtaking pictures of the planets, revealing a lot of new information. Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space in August of 2012, and Voyager 2 joined it in November of 2018. These exits were instrumental in enabling astronomers to determine where exactly the edge of interstellar space is, something that's difficult to measure from within the solar system. They showed that interstellar space begins just about 18 billion kilometers, about 11 billion miles from the Sun. Although the Voyagers were designed and created in the 70s, they have been working pretty well. Earlier in the video, we mentioned that the Voyager encountered something that caused a glitch and made it confused about its position in the solar system. Until now, the functioning of the spacecraft has been amazing, and even though the engineers have encountered quite a few challenges, they have been getting strong signals from the edge of the universe with major parts of the spaceship being functional. But some recent data received by the engineers indicated that the Voyager was confused about where it was and where it was headed in space. The data also indicated that the Voyager may have made contact with some foreign object, which could have been anything from a gas pocket to a giant rock. But the scientists were not able to determine with what the Voyager exactly came in contact. All they could know was that the attitude and articulation control subsystem malfunctioned, making the Voyager disoriented in space after waiting for days to get a clear picture of the situation. With a few commands, scientists were able to solve the problem, which brought the Voyager back on track, but they still had no answer. What did the Voyager start sending data to a dead computer for, and how did a glitch occur out of nowhere? Could this mean the Voyager came in contact with some alien life form and that it caused it to act the way it did? Or it could have been just a normal glitch that the spacecraft experienced for the first time in five decades with no terrifying backstory? The possibilities are endless, and chances are, whatever message the Voyager sent back could be significant. And humans may not be able to understand or decode it now, but it could mean something big 
something terrifying for us in the future. What do you guys think exists on the edge of the universe? And about the data Voyager sent back to Earth to a dead computer? Was it a glitch or something else entirely? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments section because we love to read what you say. With that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. and we'll bring some more amazing space news and discoveries. See you guys tomorrow.